San Jose has become world renowned as the capital of Silicon Valley, but besides just simply being at the epicenter of some of the world's most influential innovations, what is there to do here? Although tech might be what draws most people to come to the area, there's a lot more to do here than just learn about semiconductors and drive by in all of massive company headquarters. Today, I'm gonna to go over what are the top 13 things to do in San Jose. Make sure you stick around until the end to find out the best place in all of San Jose to head out for a great night. Hey everyone, Spencer Sue here, your tech realtor of the Bay Area. We have a lot to cover, so let's just jump right into it. Number one, San Pedro Square. There is so much to do in San Pedro Square. For some quick sightseeing, it is home to one of Spanish California's oldest settlements the Peralta Adobe. But the main attractions are San Pedro Square's culinary offerings. They include taste from every corner of the planet, such as tapas at restaurants like District, Middle Eastern at Gozar Halal, Brew Pub Fair at places like Market Beer Company, or the Old Wagon Saloon. Italian at the highly rated Firehouse Number no. 1, as well as multiple Asian, Cuban, and retro American restaurants such as Urban Momo, Habana Cuba, and 71 St. Peter. Many of the restaurants in San Pedro Square offer fantastic outdoor patios, and there is always some great live music to enjoy. Number two, Winchester Mystery House. The Winchester Mystery House is an architectural wonder and a historic landmark that was once the personal residence of Sarah Lockwood Party Winchester. From 1886 to 1922, construction seemingly never ceased as the original eight-room farmhouse grew into the world's most unusual and sprawling mansion, featuring 24,000 square feet, 10,000 windows, 2,000 doors, 160 rooms. Built at a price tag of the $5 million in 1923 or equivalent of $71 million today. This is a must-see in my opinion. At least you gotta check it out once. There's nothing quite like it. Cathedral Basilica of St. Joseph. For those who enjoy architecture and some rich history, this bold Renaissance revival church in downtown San Jose definitely has to make your list. It was consecrated way back in 1877 and is cathedral for the Roman Catholic Church of San Jose. Its interior architecture is breathtaking and worth looking at. Number four, the Tech Interactive. We're in Silicon Valley after all. This is the place to be if you're curious about how technology is changing our daily lives. The Tech Interactive is kitted out with gadgets, gizmos, robots, virtual reality, and innovative hands-on craziness. Many people who visit San Jose are eager to immerse themselves in the world of tech and this is a great place to do that. Number five, Children's Discovery Museum. The museum was part funded by the Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak. Exhibits and programs here help children understand the world through experience, interaction, and inquiry. They get to dig for mammoth fossils, make gigantic bubbles, solve engineering problems, role play a healthy lifestyle at the Rainbow Market. Number six, Happy Hollow Park and Zoo. This is one of my favorite options for a complete day out with the kids. Happy Hollow Park and Zoo has animal enclosures, rides, and a fully equipped animal hospital. It's a blast. SAP Center. Walking distance from some great restaurants and bars downtown, SAP Center is one of the larger event menus in all of the Bay Area. Whether a sports fan or not, you won't be let down by the energy of the San Jose Sharks hockey games. SAP Center is also a major concert venue that hosts shows year-round. It seems like there's always something fun going on. Number eight, Avaya Stadium. You could head to a San Jose Earthquakes game during soccer season, which can be a lot of fun. And the coolest thing here is grabbing a drink at the bar, but not just your average bar, the largest outdoor bar in North America. I mean, if you're gonna be spending $13 beers from somewhere, make it memorable and not just your standard stadium concession stand. Number nine, Sofa District. This is a culture, arts, and entertainment enclave within downtown San Jose and touts itself as Silicon Valley's creative district. It is home to big venues and institutions like the San Jose Institute of Contemporary Art and the Silicon Valley Symphony, which is based at the California Theater. It does feel like a hip place to hang out and it's a fun neighborhood to spend an afternoon in. Number 10, San Jose Improv. Open Tuesday through Sunday, this is a great place for a fun show while you're downtown on a night out. There's a busy schedule of A-list and upcoming stand-ups, sketch groups, open mics, and live podcast recordings. I've personally seen some of my favorites, Theo Vaughn and Andrew Soltz, not long ago. Be aware there's a two-item minimum purchase. Number 11, Municipal Rose Garden. This is San Jose's award-winning rose garden. There are just about 3,500 individual rose bushes from almost 200 different species of roses in a formal arrangement around a circular fountain. 
It really is beautiful and smells great too. It's free, changes throughout the year, and great for photo ops. Number 12, Rosicrucian Egyptian Museum. A total must for history buffs. It holds a large array of ancient Egyptian artifacts in Western North America, starting in pre-dynastic times more than 5,000 years ago and running to the start of the Islamic era. Last but not least, number 13, Santana Row. With its palms, oaks, fountains, musicians, pedestrian-friendly sidewalks, and restaurant terraces, Santana Row is an upscale shopping strip. There are boutiques, galleries, and more than a few well-known retailers. In between are 30 restaurants, bars, and cafes, and the six-screen Cine Arts Santana Row. It's my favorite place to people watch, and there are several places to bar hop. Be sure to hit up V-Bar, which is where I first met my wife. Rosie McCain's for some drinking and dancing, and Straits for some great cocktails and even bottle service. So that concludes my list of what are the top 13 things there are to do in San Jose. If you're looking to buy or sell anywhere in the Bay Area, my team would love to be your trusted real estate resource. So be sure to call or text us at 408-547-4590. And before you leave, hit the subscribe button as I'm putting out new videos multiple times a week about life in the Bay Area. See you in the next video.